Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back to the wheel spin to see what terrible movie, but hopefully great movie, we can get. Ethan, what are the new movies on this week? So I put some new movies on, including yeah. Doll Man, Alien from LA, and a couple of others. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to spin it. Uh, you're kind of holding it. That's good. Right. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how much. Can you hold it? You ready? Yep, yeah, I'm yep. holding it. Oh, it's, it's being pushed against something. Uh, go ahead, spin the wheel. Great. Nah, you a good spin. That's, that's a shit spin. Fine. Give it a good spin. Fine. Fine. Give it a good spin. Why are you... And what is wrong with you? Something. Okay, stop touching the... Okay, that first spin wasn't a proper spin. <laughs> uh, we are not doing Leonard Part 6. Spin the wheel. Round and round it goes. And oh, it's a Seagal film. Shit. Do you want to do Leonard Part 6 or do you want to do a Steven Seagal film? Let's watch film? Steven Seagal. Okay. Let's go. See, I was really worried we are going to get a Steven Seagal film because I want, like, I've seen what happens to the other channels. They get stuck on him. I don't want to get stuck Well, these are these are some these of his films. earlier ones. Yeah, that's cool. But I want JCVD. I want to be a JCVD oh, he's much more entertaining. movie channel. Look at this. How Good. cool is he? He is the coolest person ever, Jared. I, I, Did you know he was a real sheriff? Was he? No, he was on that shitty TV show where he like pretended to be a sheriff and I think they got in trouble for that because they were like... Oh yeah, he ran over a dog with a tank oh, or something, they remember? they killed a dog with a yeah, tank? Yeah. What no, the no, fuck? He killed a dog with a tank. Yeah, that's not cool. He's always doing something weird out in the country. Oh, you know? that's... Have you ever seen a movie where he's in a city? Or even a large town. Well, see, I've, I've avoided watching ah, these okay. films for a long time. I, I know he's in a submarine like three times. I don't think so. Adding three dead agents. Were they, How did they dropping? FBI a couple of nights ago and <laughs> what the hell is going on <laughs> here? Like, it's like a Mario Kart game. Oh, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Don't <laughs> barrels on him. That's the bad guy in the end. It, it, Donkey Kong's just up on the mountain just throwing fucking barrels at him. That'd be awesome. That was dangerous. Oh, so we know what's happening. Someone's dumping toxic waste. Accidentally. They accidentally dumped thousands. Obviously there's something going on Again and again and again. I think you need- you can have other things uh, other than just a witness. The... Right? Like, you can have other kinds of evidence. Here's as good a list of folks to start You know, how he game. tried to be, like, the super American. Like what say, is he wearing? Don't talk much. People keep pretty much to themselves. Start what is he wearing? Some sort of fix a few porches, leather vest? I keep expecting that kid from Deliverance to be like on the porch just going ding 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 ding. He's shy. He's not a helicopter. Their whole family's shy. Jeez. That's what I thought. You see a lot of them around right here. UFO. Is this about aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Stephen Seagal vs. Aliens would be amazing. Boys, oh my god. He has coal on his face. The yeah, we're, we're so poor, we have to wear dirt on our faces. Okay, so here's... I'm gonna guess the toxic waste. I mean... It's not a very undercover... ...thing. So are they yeah. legally dumping it in some places? I thought they were illegally dumping it. That was the problem. But this is incredibly obvious since they literally used a spotlight up a mountain. Everyone would see it. How would you and, hide this? And they've this? deliberately used green light to blaze everywhere. Like, let's light up the toxic waste dump with green light so everyone knows what it is. And he moved to Russia and he's literally... Oh, it's that guy. It's that guy. You change and you come back and see us. I'm gonna do that. Two beautiful twins like you. Mm -hmm. Get some man, thank you. <laughs> was that Apparently meant to be sweet talking? Yeah, yeah. Was he a sex icon? What? Steven Seagal. I don't know. Kind of looks like he's. Is that kid just oh. pissing into the river? Okay. Oh! Oh. Don't. Hey, boy, what are you doing? I mean. How do you get up to the top of the hill so quick, dude? Ah. Uh, is it kind of like Deliverance or something? Oh man, even he's making the reference to Deliverance. deliverance. <laughs> I guess I should be kind of scared. 
You got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> Bam! I got no business with y'all. Dude, he's like shoving it through his eye. Watch him, boy. Don't let him do nothing wrong. What? What's wrong with that kid? I mean, wasn't he with them? Yeah. But this cool guy just gave you a gun, right? Yeah. So is this town so shitty they have to rely on, like, charity people coming in from out of town to fix things? It's not good. What time period <laughs> is this town set in? I half of them seem to think it's like the 1930s or something. I am kind of worried this is like the Appalachian thing or something. Like this is actually real. Do you know oh, you yeah, know this is Appalachia. But were they like 20, 30 years behind? Because it feels like he's a time traveler. <laughs> he's just, right? He's like over a totally different... It doesn't help that he only wears black leather. Yeah, I know. But that's what I mean. He's a time traveler. It feels like a time traveling movie. But he only went like 20 years. That's true. Okay, well, I'll do the best I can to keep that in mind, sir. I can barely understand I, I what they're fucking, saying. I This is the other reason I don't like him. There's not much to say because I don't know. I can't respond to him because I don't know what he says. So he's pretending to be like a yeah out of town and coming to help it out. Yeah, yeah. And the other guy I think was threatening to take him out if he misbehaved because a lot of them tend to be alcoholics or something. But he's pretending to be a handyman, right? But he yeah. still did build that guy's roof. That's a good. That's a good job at pretending. I don't know if he can do his own other job, you know? Why is he whispering? I didn't mean that. Just, um... I You tell me. You've seen more of his films for some fucking reason. You tell me. I don't know. Sarah's a nice girl. Sad, no. Town don't really take to her. Why is that? A lot of history. People down here don't give us history. Maybe it's because she just walks off and stands by herself. <laughs> just eating corn. There's only like 12 people did there. You, did you see? But did you find that was a really odd shot of her just eating corn? She eats corn with her left hand. She's one of the devil people. Yeah. We don't talk to their kind. This this sort of feels like the first film we did like this. Uh, the Witcher. Uh, um, the Wicker Man. Yeah, yeah. What, because of the bees? You it's saw the bees like, and you immediately thought of the Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that's the only connection. No, but it's, it feels like he's just in a different land. Like a Kellogg residence? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, um, I've broken down everything I could get under there and fix it all up. I... Yeah, yeah. She will not be able to hear you from over there. Nah. <laughs> it's... Yeah. I really feel like if he just got in his plane and he flew over, he'd be able to see all the goddamn Dude, if toxic he just waste everywhere. If he just looked outside, he should be able to see it. It's a rattlesnake. How did he not see them when he first went over it? Oh, man. Dude, he just caught a rattlesnake. He caught two rattlesnakes. Two? Oh, wait, is there a third? No, there a okay. Third? What was that? Just caught two rattlesnakes. I know, but that last scene looked like there was a third one, right? So were they trying to kill him, or was that just to scare him? I don't know. He seems quite happy, that guy. But it's like, it's not like the Wild West, right? Where you I'm... kill a federal officer and nobody comes to check. Come on, Natalie, you're killing me. I, d I don't know. Hey, is this film, like, racist towards people who live in that side of town? Do you know what I mean? Well, you mean depicting them all as, like, weird throwbacks? Yeah, like, he's the saviour guy coming to town and... No, I think it's actually like this. Okay. What was the show? Justified? Was that in Kentucky? Oh, uh, I, th I was thinking of Gumby. Gumbo? What the hell's Gumbo? Uh, it's, it's just the... I only sold six jars of your honey this week. You want to put that against your girlfriend? That's like half the town. Yeah. 
But I don't think she's really. Which really... she just sells the honey. Yeah. She didn't even have that many ta- like hives. I don't know, man. Maybe it's like designer honey or something. Maybe she got some sort of job. Wow. Well, I'm just saying. The hives like, clearly aren't doing care. it. Yeah, yes, sir, I'm buy it. Spam and jam uh, and peanut okay. butter. I also think I might like to have all of that honey there. What? It's really bad honey. All of it. Let me ask oh, you something. Okay. What's a fella like you gonna do with all this honey? Look how big that jar is. You know how much of honey you would have to eat in a week? Smoke over here in the mountains. Oh, that coal's been burning that mountain for 12 and a half years now. Well, that's gonna help global warming. Does that concern anybody that the, uh, Earth's on fire on the ground. I don't know. Uh, a mountain next to my house being on fire would probably freak me out yeah, a little. It's a big one <laughs> from me. It's a big, it's a big one. <laughs> I mean... She just chucked all her shit in. Right? What I the heard, hell was that? None of it was like... I mean, even if you didn't care about your shit, what about his truck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just rude. She had like eggs. <laughs> they, all, they, they all just smashed. Eggs just smashed. This movie's boring, man. <laughs> How are you bored? There's so much going on. So he's even got a truck called the Relief Mission. So is this like is this like a normal thing for the town that they, people fly in to like save them from being I shit? Know, I got your tough shit right here. Oh, finally. Thank God. I mean, these people stand absolutely no chance against him. No one even came close to hitting him. So what's this lady's deal? I don't know. You picked this piece of shit. Well, you gotta fix those stairs. <laughs> oh, good. He's... Yeah, he's gonna fix the crappy stairs. He's gonna fix the stairs. Is this like a, a reverse vandalism? Where he goes in, like, fixes things without asking. Yes, please. You like honey, don't you? Why do you like so my honey? <laughs> the hell was that? Nah, okay. Jeez. Oh, it's, it's just... Get on with it. Can this <laughs> get on with it? It's... He hasn't, like... Oh, here he done is. Done any investigating, really. Here he is. Oh, okay, investigating this, this. this. Investigating that. Doing a little investigating. Oh, she murdered her ah. dad. Oh, Ooh. that makes sense. That's not great. Oh, so she didn't kill her dad. Okay. Oh, so he's just walking around taking water samples. There's no investigating he's doing. Maybe it has something to do with the big mountain that glows green all the night. Okay, you know what's bugging me? How many jackets did he bring with down with him? I've noticed like four different leather jackets. He likes his leather jackets. Uh, his bags are just full of leather jackets. How is the local sheriff meant to like frame and get rid of like a federal officer? How does the law work in this country? You, you're throwing out a lot of questions, but I'm afraid this movie doesn't have answers. Uh, I have no answers for any of these things. I'm just like, yep. Jared, I expect you to know everything about this. It's just stupid. I was thinking about the last few, like, movies that we've watched that were meant to be... We've been on a really bad run. Like, we've I had... Like nights. I fell asleep. It was quite boring. But I, we pre we've not had, like, a good one. And this movie's not changing that series of events anytime soon. We're just waiting for him to stumble onto it. It's literally just like Steven Seagal goes to small town country rural America. Right. And that's it. That's all this movie has been to me. He's been in like two fights. I can't even say anything that much about them. They were just two small fights, yeah? They lasted like maybe a second. Each. Yeah. I've not really had much to say about Steven Seagal because he's kind of just sat there and just talk about the town. A street dance? So they were so poor they don't even have a hall, a hall to dance in? <laughs> they just... 
we dance out in the street like, just... like animals. <laughs> like goddamn animals. Well, they but... got a big lumber yard. What are they doing with all the lumber? Yeah. Hey, he's actually carrying him. What year is this? Why'd you drop that? Just, I don't know. She like, just... That's just literally... Everyone's there. They're all very sick in this town. Because everyone's dying of toxic poison. That makes sense. I mean, what does make sense is the fact that it isn't swarming with, like, police and everything. Mm. I don't know. I feel like this could happen in America. That's yeah, true. A poor town. Fair enough. Isn't there a city there that doesn't have water at the moment? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe it's just, like, Texas when they run out of, like, electricity and all that stuff. I think it's in Mississippi that they don't have the water. Ah, that's not good. Listen, why don't we cut this shit? You know who I am. I can arrest you just as easy as you can arrest me. And you know it. Is that how the police work? Like, oh, he, he loves shoving the guns into people. Yeah, deep into the eyes, deep into the mouths. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah? See, why doesn't he just get the agents in? Right? I think it would be a lot easier. So their authority, like, cancels each other out? I how does that know. work? I don't know how it works. Thousands of miles and, uh... Now, see, this could happen. But he keeps explaining what's happening in the film, right? Yeah. So everyone's like, so why don't you just arrest whoever's dumping it? Or why don't you go stop the dumping? Because he needs a he's witness. Still... He needs a witness, uh. Ethan. Don't you remember? Come from, we call it betrayal, and it is no way to make friends. You are where you come from. Yeah, that was an odd. I, I've come to the realization that films that make me really bored are normally set in small towns. Well, I mean, it kind of reminds me of Twin Peaks in some ways. Twin Peaks is like, awesome. Like but... that, that, those two episodes where it's all about the uh, Miss Twin Peaks contest, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, when Season nothing's two. happening. Oh, man. That was long. She's even got a log. She's like the log lady. Oh my god, could you imagine if Coop turns up? If I think we no, should no. just call the police. If they the recast oh, Twin Peaks and it it was Stephen Seagal in the role oh. instead of um Carl McLaughlin. Carl McLaughlin. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be pretty good. Oh, how bad would Twin Peaks be? It would have never gone through season one. Yeah. He can't talk. He can't <laughs> emote. Yeah. Trying to drive the truck off the road now? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. He's like, oh, he's gonna play chicken with him? No. Uh, I don't know because I can't tell what's going on. Odd view. Is that yeah. like the bottom of the truck? <laughs> it felt, it felt like we we're in, on a really small. Do you think car. this is gonna be the brother? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no. I mean, unless they're introducing new characters. Can I be honest though? This scene this is pretty cool. This is actually awesome. It is pretty good. No, this is one of the best truck versus car. Th I mean, a little silly, obviously, but it's really cool. Yeah. Okay, that truck looks weird from that angle. Okay. Wow, that truck fell for it twice. I mean, he, he still saw the cliff. Or was, was Steven Seagal, like, blocking his view of the cliff like yeah. that? Was that what that was? <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh, man, oh, that is that's pretty awesome. good. Awesome. Do you think, the, do you think he's going to make it? Dude. <laughs> that was pretty good. Actually threw that truck off the cliff. That's impressive. Okay. No big, big, big explosions that or anything. Entire scene didn't belong in this good. movie. That was pretty Apart good. Apart from like that super goofy ending and other thing, that wasn't good. That was awesome. That was actually a, like fantastic scene. I really felt like the tension and it sounded cool. 
And the rest of those films sucks. This movie goes from such an awesome scene, and then it's like back and to reality. And now it's time for him to literally give a sermon. Isn't that how um, on Deadly Ground finishes? Well, he does like a big speech, goes for like sure. twenty minutes. Because they think you all are ignorant, barefoot. Poor dumb hillbillies. No, that's what I mean, they're not wrong. Money. That's what this movie thinks they I mean, it's why. I mean, it's what they've been shown. These yeah. People, yeah. You all are insignificant. It's worth selling out the legacy of your ancestors and the future of your children. Please raise your hand. <laughs> Jeff, put down your hand. <laughs> I mean, if they just found the toxic waste... It'd at least be able to stop it. Wouldn't he be able to call people in now? Hmm? Like, come on. They know where it is. That's what I mean. And he's been attempted murder like two, three times. I think he can call in work and be like, okay, send more people. So you know the priest's Bye -bye. gonna die now, right? Oh yeah, everyone's gonna die. Well, the priest at least. Man. Here goes the priest. I mean, we've already seen this happen to the other old dude. <sighs> Movie. It's gone on for a while. Oops, there he goes. Oh, oh, he's gonna have to play the guitar. Oh, look at him go. He can play the guitar. What, it's like a reverse deliverance where they can play instruments. Where's he getting all of his outfits from, though? Would everyone know the brother showed him, though? You know, maybe if he had brought some agents in, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Although, I can't remember at the start where no one wanted to investigate. Was that it? No, they got killed, remember? Three of them tried to investigate it and they got killed. Yeah, well, whatever. So they've already lost three agents for this, like, one thing, right? Did you sleep with him? What? Earl was tricking. Huh? You whore. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Earl was, uh... Earl was playing a double to play. He was the one called up. Ew. Oh, no. Real creepy. No. It turns out the cold people aren't involved in the murders at all. The brother's just a psychopath. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a <laughs> that twist. That would be a good twist. You're all alone. So if he doesn't even happen, care about the toxic waste. He's just spent his whole time getting involved in this small town drama shit. I mean, I guess he looked at a newspaper. Oh, they just oh. popped out of nowhere. They they appeared next to him. I kind of like that. We'll see. Randall's going to do it. Oh, oh wow. He's just bravery. Oh, oh, man, do you think the son's going to uh, yeah. testify against the dad? Yeah. See, this is pretty good. It's all right. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna use it as a club? Yeah. Uh, okay. He really should have used the gun as a gun. Yeah? Yeah. What's he doing? Is he making him hug himself? What the hell? Give me that. Okay, so Steven Seagal's dead, right? Yeah, I guess Taggart's dead. What's with action films and you, they show like the whole thing blowing up outside and then we'll cut to inside. Well, I know you see he's outrunning the explosion. Ah. Plus, aren't they like 14 miles in or something? Oh. Well, that was pretty easy. We watched The Running Man recently. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets the, the shit kicked out of him multiple oh, yeah. he times. Gets, he gets beaten up. Yeah. Great film. The last JCVD film we watched, he got like beaten up brutally like a few crucified. times. Crucified. Oh, yep, crucified. JCVD is so much more interesting than Seagal. I've like, and you know the thing with this film too? It's just a nothing film. Is he still looking for witnesses? They've just tried to kill him. He's a, he's a police officer. He's a witness. Why I don't even think you need a witness at this why point. Why didn't you do also, that Also, she hasn't witnessed anything. Out of the entire town, she's why the one who has witnessed the least. Why didn't he do that earlier? Hey, you know what? I'm thinking these guys might be bad guys. Really? Although I've been wrong a fair time in this movie. Oh, 
Seagal's getting a lot of people killed in this film. Yeah, he definitely does have a high death kill like ratio. Oh he hates the lights in this he film. He hates lights. He's taking them all out. Oh, oh, he shot him through the wall. Damn. That's not even skill. That's some sort of like extra sensory thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, and he's still alive. Oh, he's still going. Okay, fair enough. I would get out of the giant pool of gasoline. Hey, tell your boss I'm coming to get him. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. You know, on second thought, I'll tell him. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> that was almost pretty cool. Ah, oh, no, actually, that was all right. That was all right. I thought it could have been cooler, though. Stick around, we're gonna have some fun. Ah, that sucked. That's a $25,000 fine. I'm fining wow. you an additional $25,000 for failing to disclose your own company's toxic release. What, that guy threw his coffee away? What was that, like, six people died for a $25,000 fine? The EPA, they've never been very good at punishing criminals, catching them, helping the environment. So he's a vigilante now? How's he gonna do it now though? So is he, is he working for a different federal agency? Yeah. He, right to remain silent. he must be the say, FBI you now? You can arrest me, Jack. I outrank you. Who do you think you are? Wait, how I does that work? You're a piece of shit. Oh. I'm ashamed of you. So I, I thought he didn't work for them anymore. I don't know who he works for. What is he in? What, what is he wearing? It's like a kimono thingy. What? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Is he, is he like threatening someone into being a witness Isn't now? that like duress or whatever it's called? Oh, I don't know. When they're like threat, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like forced to make a statement against your will. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. Also, he keeps saying he's not with the police anymore. No, he is. I think that was like a weird cop out. Didn't really mean anything though, did it then? It feels like the movie should have finished like 20 minutes ago. I know. After the big climax. Still alive, asshole. I know you're alive. Now that could be because I'm a bad shot. Or it could be that I'm a good shot and I just wanted you to meet Tyrone. It just keeps going. You know, one of your friends is dead. Yeah. I really hate his action scenes, right? Because he's never in danger. It's just like, it's almost like a dream-like fight where he just walks through people. It's so irritating. Oh, and he built him a new porch. Oh, and he is the kid from Deliverance. Fuck? <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, no, there's this. Yes. See? Steven Seagal saved Appalachia. Okay, the fact that they had another <laughs> scene of him just going... What did you think of this movie, Jared? Oh, yeah, the pot growers. What happened to the pot growers? That kid know. to piss into the water? Yeah, that was weird. It was pretty bad the whole way. It was fairly boring. There was that one awesome chase scene. Maybe some competent-ish action, action scenes. Yeah, but Steven Seagal's never good in it. It's always like he just, just stands there moving his arms around and people movie... fly around. Exactly, and the movie just like kept going. Yeah. It just, it was quite boring. After he story. finds all the toxic waste and they have the big shootout and everything. Yeah. It felt like that should have been the end, but then he does the whole, he's quitting and he's coming back and he keeps having to find new witnesses. You know, that's the question. Is it entertainingly bad? I think the problem is though. No, I was it, just bored. It's kind of a boringly competent movie. Like it's competent-ish. I mean, the fact that they made fun of themselves for looking like Deliverance was kind of good. That was about it. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, this movie is good enough that it's a movie. It but, certainly was a movie. But it's not so bad it's good. No, this wasn't it's, entertaining. It's not bad enough to be bad. And it's not good enough to be good. 
So it's just such this a is bad. It's just, just a bad, bad boring. Film. It's a boring film. I do not recommend this film. I give it like two potatoes or two two honey pots out of ten. Okay. It was quite boring. How about you? I'll give it three honey pots out three of ten. Three honey pots out of ten. I thought it was quite boring. Oh, yeah, I, I like could have been could have been more boring. Yeah, it could have been worse. <laughs> That's we gotta hit a good movie, man. We've we've been on a very bad bad well, sequence like yeah. it's been i bad. like night okay please give us a good bad movie anyway everyone please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that smash button smash that like button <laughs> and that's it uh, and we'll see you next week with another so bad it's good movie hopefully